Well, Kent Adams here with the Pulse of Spokane. I hope you're having a good day. More importantly, to all of our friends out there in the various communities, I hope things are simmering down a little bit with the fires. Um, I, I think of people who have uh, have had multi-generations in some of these homes out there, and their home and their farm have burned down. And uh, you, can, you can think of several. Uh, what a day yesterday. It was cooler, but way too windy. We're going to talk about some fun things today, and we're going to talk about a newer advertising marketing agency here in Spokane right after this. We believe every person is created in the image of God with immeasurable beauty and worth that people should not be defined by their present condition or past mistakes. We are all broken. We need each other. Healing for our brokenness begins with connection, with understanding how much we are loved by a good God. And with healing comes change, the potential for joy and meaning. No one was created for mere survival on the streets, for an existence blurred by mind-numbing substances. Each person is created with a purpose, a unique gift no one else can offer the world. Our job is to help them rediscover it. Real people, real change. Union Gospel Mission. Governor Inslee's edicts are not saving lives. They're killing businesses. How is it possible that in a nine acre park, I cannot have anybody here in a safe manner? Our employees are healthy, all our guests have been healthy, and the only thing unhealthy with this situation is Governor Jay Inslee's overreaching arm to shut us down, and that is what we're fighting for, to overrule a government that is trying to take over the lives of American citizens for their own benefit, for their own plans. Hey, welcome back, and I have a youngster here. Now, I say that because everybody under 50, you're under 50, right? Uh, yes. I'm under oh, 50. okay, okay. <laughs> is everybody, when you're at 74, everyone 50 and under is a kid to me, okay? I'm 36, so. Oh, I don't remember being 36. That's right. <laughs> that is fun, isn't it? Dane? Yes. Let me get the last name right. Coleman? Coleman. 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 Coleman, like the. Like the cooler. Okay. Oh, so you're a cool dude. Yes. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Let's talk about who you are because I don't really know much about you. Yeah. But you've got a new company. Is what a couple years old? Several years old? Yeah. Just coming on three years. Three years. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Welcome to a startup, right? Yeah. 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 Are you having fun? It's the it's the greatest. Yeah. Um, Why? Yeah. Every day, I mean, we get to do what we want to do and what's fun and, and yeah. just get to pick directions and go with it. And even though we're three years old, we've been a lot of this stuff. It's like the bamboo method. A lot of the things we've been doing have been growing for years. A yeah. lot of the relationships we have have been yeah. decade plus long relationships. Uh, we recently worked with or basically merged with MDI, who's an agency that's been around 35 years. So right. we were able to right. take that experience that's and... 35 years and you're 36. Yeah. So yeah. I, I was, I was, uh, I was a young pup. Yeah. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. So it, it was just great. I mean, it was, it was great timing how everything worked out. And so we have just an agency where we get to make the content, have production and things like that in house. Right. And then we have the experience for media buying a whole digital apartment and right. we can take care of everything. So we just, we have a lot of fun. What are the, what, what would be one or two of the newest things you've had to learn in let's say the last year because as we talked before we went on what we know today is going to be different tomorrow yeah but we're constantly learning aren't we it, our business has gone through a major shift have you ever read the book e-myth yes it, it, we, we kind of entered that maturity state where everything has changed where we've, we've <laughs> scaled up a lot i think we're up to 17 employees where oh, wow. a year ago i think we had five and so a lot of it's learning that building a culture um it's been a wild ride. It's just, it's, it's been a, a fun wave, but I think 
it's learning to just no matter what, especially in the challenges that, that COVID's brought and yes. just the way the world is to just continue to have fun and to make as much lemonade as possible. And yeah. when opportunities come, take them and, and roll. Yeah. What did you do, what did you do before? So I used to work for an advertising agency right out of college. I went okay. to the University of Montana. I interned for an agency, worked there, uh, Marjoni. Oh, okay. Um, they're no longer around. And, uh, but some of the Marjoni people went to Did they fall apart when you left? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, but uh, then I, I worked for T-Mobile for okay. about a decade. And while okay. I was at T-Mobile, I did some white labeling and had some contract marketing work. And I yeah. basically did it for free because I really liked it. You know, I figured you had to have a job, right? Yeah. You had to have jobs. So that was T-Mobile. That's right, where, right. you know, the, but you know, then the there's 401k. The fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, five years in, I had a sabbatical okay. and it was a two month sabbatical where I thought I'd wake up and do nothing. Just, yeah. I couldn't wait to not have anything to do for yeah. two months. Yeah. And I found myself waking up early, going to the gym. And then all I wanted to do was do marketing projects. <laughs> like I was like, if I could, if I could do anything, it would just be you know, make marketing campaigns and, you know, connect filmers with people. Right, and right. So then it was like an aha moment. I should turn that into a, a business. You know, uh, I know friends who are close to my age or approaching my age who have gone through life and their friends have gone through life and, and they look back on, you know, I made nice money, but I really didn't enjoy it. Yeah. How sad that is mm -hmm. because that was the first thing my wife asked me about my careers and jobs and so forth. Did you enjoy them? Yes, I did. And when I didn't, I fired them and moved on. Yeah. Sometimes not knowing where, yeah. where the next dollar is going to come from. But, you know, there's got to be more t to life than just showing up and doing something for somebody else and, and, and so forth. And then she said, second question of you, dear, is you don't have any hobbies anymore. I used to love photography back in the film days. I, I know that was before you. I know film. <laughs> okay, I know. Uh, and, and I said, you know, I'll go back to the first question, and that is I enjoyed so much what I did that I never saw it as a job. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you're that way too. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. But it's... I mean, when, when I had a job where it was, you know, I didn't clock in, but you know, th yeah. theoretically, if it was a business call, I had to be a different person, right? Like I had to be the person that that job needed me to be. I had right. to act a certain way, hold right. certain standards that met these principles, not necessarily my principles. Yes. And then now it's like, I'm just, I get to be you me all the time. I get to yeah. chase the things that I'm passionate about all the time. I get to help people in ways that I would want to help them. Yeah. And you know, we get, we get to build a team. Like our team is so awesome. Like Good. the best people and that's, you know. We, and you've got some great clients too, mm -hmm. which really speaks well of you for three years. I'm gonna guess some of those you knew people beforehand. Yeah, a lot of it was relationships yeah. and timing. And I mean, yeah. personally in my faith, I think like God provided a lot of just amazing yeah. relationships that it just worked out. And I think what we offer is different than a lot of other people. And yeah. so it, it's, it was a culmination of timing and relationships and yeah. I don't even know. It's all a blur. You know, you mentioned the faith thing and mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure where I saw it, but somewhere I saw it on Facebook or something that that's important in your life. Talk mm -hmm. about that because, because not everyone wants to talk about that. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? But th that obviously is important to you. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I personally feel like victory is God's company. Okay. It was, he really gave me the courage to leave the corporate world and yeah. jump into a world where, you know, we were financially taken care of. We had more money than we needed to for 16 months. We made zero dollars. Yeah. And, uh, that whole time we actually gave more in that time than we did when we made more than we needed just cause it had a different meaning. Um, but yeah, God gave me the name and it just, it, 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 <sighs> I've treated it like God's company because it is yeah. God's company. And I feel like we've gotten a lot of blessings because of that. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, I don't know. It, it is one of those things that I, like, I give all the glory to him because he, yeah, good. he gave us the opportunity and it's just, it's, it's helped us because that's our guideline in making decisions. Right? Do you think it's done things like bring, bring some of the right people to you in terms of staffing and so forth as well? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think, I think staffing wise, um, you know, it's, it's not, we don't have, you know, morning organized prayer, right, you know, right. something like that, but it's just like our, our culture is very faith based and, you know, it's, we've break into, uh, you know, theological conversations or passage conversations all the time. And, and it's, it's, 
it's made some impact. So a lot of the people, and we, not everyone in our in our company is, it, you know, in, at they're all in different levels oh, sure, of, of sure. their whether they're Christian or, or not, or whether their right. believer status are. Like that's that's not a piece of it. Like we're we're accepting. It's of not everybody. required or anything mm-hmm. like that. No, but it it, it again it, it it's our moral compass. It's our guide, yes. and so we treat it like that, and that's how we okay. treat our clients and our people and. Yeah, I think that's it's it's important for me to stay humble that everything we've done and won it, it's nothing that I've done. It's something that you know just by being a good steward of what he's yeah. given us. We well, I successful. think sometimes when we tend to give back to the community and care about our community, and I hear that from you, uh, it it pays off in yeah. in the dollar side of things. You know, just have faith that it's coming. You know, if yeah. you're doing the right thing and you have the right team and all of that. So, yeah. So what what new project in the last year or so has just tweaked your interest so much? <sighs> Every different world we've done we've done a lot in the e-commerce world. Okay. So we've really that's been a whole segment of our business where especially in COVID, we've taken a lot of businesses put them online. Uh, our digital yes. president has a huge background in e-commerce. So our e-commerce side of our business is... And you kind of have to be there today. You really do. Yeah. And, and there's, I mean, it's, it's a whole different principle of marketing. It's yeah. not your normal, like, it's not your normal general branding or image or, or, or things like that, like a brick and mortar, you know, yeah. like a bank you would have. You to can't do. just do it like we used to do it. We've no. always done it that way. Right. You've heard that. I'm well, sure. and, and there's some businesses where you do, you still need that traditional community yeah. outlook, but e-commerce opens up the world, right? Yeah. So your audience can be the world. So you're addressing the world. You're finding ways to retarget the world and connect with the world. And yeah. there's so much data available. So that's been really fun to see that grow and to, cause it's very measurable. Right? Yes. So a lot of stuff you can't measure as much, but we can say, well, no, you had this X amount return on everything you spent. You had a five, 10, 20 percent or X return on your investment. And yes. so that's been fun. Got that many clicks, got that many views, those well, kinds of things. It's, it's the clicks and then the ultimately leading to a purchase. Yeah. Right. And yeah. that's where you can say, you know, it's not just we got you in front of this many people. It's like we got right. you in front of this many people and this many people bought your product. And yeah. so that's been fun because you get to see that real impact. And, yeah. and then we got into the TV world kind of on yes. accident. So, yeah, we're now you had uh, a program up at Fox. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Still do it. Community positive. Okay. Good. Good. Um, we're we finished season one and then ran a whole season of of reruns. And yes. We I mean we weren't a, a production agency, but it fit our culture of like let's just talk to awesome people yeah. and yeah and show what's going on. And there are so many in Spokane. Oh, it's easy. It, you know, finding people that are doing ridiculously great things. Yes. Is easy. What's hard is picking which ones. You know, like yeah. how do you how do you filter through all the amazing stuff that people are doing? So we we interviewed 39 people, wow. and uh, there's a hundred more that yeah. we want to talk to. One of the things I've found, and I have this the sense based on what you've already said that it's true for you. While we're a city and a metropolitan area and so forth, we still are a small town mm-hmm. because. If I don't know you, I know somebody that does and can introduce me. Yeah. Do you find that? Yeah, it's not six degrees. You know, no, like the whole no. Kevin Bacon. It's yeah, it's that you're maybe one, one in between. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and uh, um, I love that because, in fact, I had a conversation with somebody this morning, and I said, I can't imagine. I grew up in La- Southern California, Los Angeles, mm-hmm. Pasadena area, and. Can you imagine networking down there? <laughs> yeah, laugh, you're laughing yeah, right, at yeah. me, but laughing with me too. And how do you do that in a San Francisco or in LA? You, you join an organization, but still you might be sitting in the days when you had luncheons and so forth at the table with six or eight other people, but that's about it. Yeah. I can get to anybody in town, and I imagine you can too, through at least one person if I don't already know them. And people seem to be just so willing to help. Even and your competitors will oh, yeah. sit down and talk with you. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it, it's. I feel a lot of times it's more collaboration than yes. competition. Yes. Um, Tyler Lafferty has been an amazing yes. resource. I mean, he's like he's a Hall of Fame marketer in Spokane. Oh, yes, yes. But he, I called him once and was like, hey, I'm starting an agency. I don't know what I'm doing. Can you yeah, yeah. can you meet me? And, and he's been able to meet. Anytime I've had questions, he's yeah. opened his doors. Uh, so a lot of our relationships are people that in traditional senses would be, well, that's your competitor. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, yeah. they're a competitor. We, but we, we make each other better and there's, there's plenty of business to go around. Absolutely. And, 
yeah, it's. Do you know who uh, Wayne Williams is out at Telect? Yeah, I was actually talking to his son on the way here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, I don't know his son, but I know Wayne. And after we tried some things on the radio five, six, six plus years ago, I guess now, I called him and said, "Well, that doesn't work when you have salespeople that don't sell. You know, you're yeah. paying the station, and all, you know the routine." And he said, well, come out and let's talk. So we did. He said, can't you realize that uh, AM and FM radio is uh, the 50s and 60s when you grew up? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember my dad actually back when I was in high school saying when we had stereo on mm -hmm. FM, right? Now the bass goes on one side and the treble on the other. No, not quite like that, Dad. But, I mean, that's where I learned, okay? He said, you need to be on the Internet. And so we started, and he met with me for a couple of times and finally said, you don't need to come out anymore launch it and we launched it as audio only and then of course added the, the the video side about three years ago but he's like so many others who will sit down and and say well okay consider this in fact he would come on about every six months just just to come down and see how we were doing yeah and, and so forth and it's like that here i i love that well yeah his son like seriously i was just talking to yeah. his son uh mitch williams who's one of my best friends and I mean, in the historical sense, we would be competitors. He yeah, has an yeah. amazing production house, Inland Film. Right. We do production, but there's been multiple times where we need help with something. Yeah. You know, they'll be on a shoot for free just to help us with whatever we right, need. Right. Or same thing, they've had some shoots and we've like, hey, we can offer people and yes, we yes. go down and collaborate. And yeah. it's, there's not a, there's not a, it's not vicious. It's not jealousy. No. It's always. No. It's, it's always helping each other out because we want to make a better product. I mean, we Absolutely. we see that there's a lot of artists and people pushing what Spokane's capable of. And I think the people on the front end of that know that it takes people working together to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it takes restauranteurs like, you know, an Adam Haig said and a, a yeah. Chad White that can, you know, break the doors wide open for everyone else. And yeah. we're, we're trying to do that in well, the video world. One of the things that we tried, in fact, the very first one we did was with one of your clients, Wendell Ford. Yeah. He's on. We went up and did a live. I'll tell you, it's challenging when you try to do a live remote, but we did up there. Yeah. Um, Kristen wouldn't come on, but <laughs> Shane would. Okay. And, and, um, in fact, we're going back out to do some more of that. We did something just not recently, not too long ago. I don't think it's been posted yet at the Globe rest restaurant downtown. And we're going to be doing some more where we go out and talk with restaurant owners and others. How are you surviving? You know, it's the we're open. Mm -hmm. Maybe not like before, but we're still open because I don't know about you, but I most of our sponsors and advertisers are the small businesses in town mm -hmm. and I've had some serious conversations with some of them the last couple of months of whether they're going to be around and I hate to see that and so we've got to stand up how we can to yep. promote small business and go have a meal with the family you know uh, um, who was it uh, um, uh, at David's Pizza um, um, uh, Mark uh, I can't think of his last name right now, Star. And he said, we've never been cleaner. Yeah. You, you may sit at every other table, but we've never been cleaner than we are now. Yeah. It's overdone, but it's clean. It's safe to come out. And some of those folks, you know, almost to a person, their biggest concern was not about them, but their employees. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing that too mm -hmm. out there? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, because that's, that's what you got to care about, right? It's, it's yeah. your people. I yeah. mean, we want to keep customers happy and, yeah. and healthy and all that, but it's you yeah. got to have your, your people. So what's the big thing coming up for Victory? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> um, we, so we did – I don't even know if I was, can talk about it. We, we, we're creating our second TV show. So okay. we're going to have Community Positive and then another one that we'll be announcing soon. Um, we're just, it's just crazy. Good. Let's, we'll just put it that way. It's, 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 How is that helping you by doing that? You know, so when COVID happened, you know, there was open inventory and we'd kind yeah. of flirted with the idea and then it was just opportunity presented itself. Right. And it, it was a, not a revenue generator. Yeah. You right. know, it was like, hey, we have, we have this capacity. We have a production team. Yeah. We just want to be able to tell these stories. Right, right. And then, so, we, I mean, we jumped into it, never producing a TV show before. And as you know, it's, it's not, it's not as simple as you have to be a little more accurate in timing than we do here. Yeah. It's, okay. We don't have the news coming up on the hours. So it we, is. Yeah. It, it was, it was an experience, but it really, it drove our team forward. It really, yeah. 
it pushed our video guys. It, it pushed our whole team logistics, the whole creative our systems team involved. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it really took an army and that ha just built, um, it built what we were doing. And then in the midst of that, we had just more production come in. So it was yeah. a big part of our internal systems. And, Good. um, I mean, I mean the amount of video that we're doing in general, like the thought of doing another TV show is stressful because yeah. you know, we're doing 30 or 40 projects a month and <laughs> it's great cause we love every single one of them. Yeah. Um, but it's what you have to keep on top of it too. You do. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, and our, our support team, our people, uh, that's the thing you like a business is only as good as its people. And we right. really do have from our, you know, our project management team and our support staff and our videographers, like I, I couldn't have hand selected better people. Like, yeah. like we just have amazing that, humans. That really makes, really makes a difference. Okay. So you're doing TV production, you're doing commercial production, doing web production mm -hmm. for videos and so forth. You're managing several clients in terms of buying TV and mm -hmm. promotion and so forth. What else, what other services do you have? Like I said, a lot on the digital front. Okay. Um, and on the e-commerce front, uh, we, we do a lot of uh, graphics, so not just graphic design and branding and okay. you know some fun stuff like that, but we've been doing a lot of vehicle and building wraps. Okay. Um, so we've done a lot of partnership with like Inked Media and, and Science for Success, where we've been able to wrap vehicles. Right. And the technology in wrapping, we did. We worked at Keytronics, and we did their rebrand last year, and it was cool to do their logo. But then we went into their office and in, in their conference rooms. Um, we vinyled their oh, their walls fun. with their logo and quotes and just the, the things you can do now with vinyl are just yeah. crazy. So we've been we've been the having a lot of really fun with that. The world has really changed, and we have more opportunities to promote things, don't we? Mm -hmm. than and we it, did and before. it's more affordable. I mean, yeah. it's you know a full wrap on a vehicle isn't isn't out of the question. You know, you can wrap a vehicle as insane as possible. And it's like twenty five hundred bucks, and well, so yeah. you know we and they do such a good job there. So we've yeah. been doing a ton of stuff like that and. We, we are just, we've been in our office for about three and a half months, both COVID, we're really in the last You're out month. in the valley now. Yep. Right? Uh, 14415 East Sprague. Okay. Um, it's right with HRC Ministries and okay. we're right in that building and uh, okay. it's, yeah, it's, it's been a fun experience. So Good, yeah. good. Okay, the big, big question of the day is how do people reach you? Because there might be someone out there just happen to be looking for some help. Yeah, all the ways, right? We talk about Always. all the things. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can go to our website. It's govictory.agency. Uh, email me directly, Dane, D-A-Y-N-E, okay. at govictorymedia.com. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We share all the things we're yeah. doing all the time. Uh, oh, we're on Twitter. <laughs> Find <laughs> us on Twitter. <laughs> we're, we're, well, we I should have had your name the places you aren't. Welcome uh, to today, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, we're even on. We're on Parlor. Did you know that existed? Yes. Um, I signed up, but I haven't done anything for like a month. So yeah, yeah. it's a good. It's it's good reading. It's good yeah. reading. So um, <laughs> yeah, we're we're everywhere. So. Yeah. In fact, my producer's probably going. He can't on Parlor now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's like you know, we we take him through the the centuries here. I think they have me up almost to the the twentieth century now. So. Almost. We skip Snapchat. I don't think we're on oh, okay. Snapchat. We don't have. I mean, we have a lot of young people there, but we yeah. just, I think we missed the Snapchat generation. So we, we don't do much snapping. <laughs> we do everything else. I love it. I love it. Thank you. And keep up the good work. Absolutely. And would you say hi to Becky for me? I will do. Okay. I'll see her in about 20 minutes. All right. Good. Well, She's thank you just so much for having person. us on. Oh. Nice to have you on. Becky's okay. the best. Best of luck to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Ken. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You.